Well, here's some news, you know, the last day or two that will help explain why the government makes the application seem so complicated for you to get money. <laughs> it's not just to piss you off. <laughs> no, don't forget, all these agencies that give out money are having, it's really somebody else's money. Yeah. Uh, and so they have to follow laws and rules and regulations. And, and if somebody rips them off too much, then they, they look like terrible people, right? And that's what's happening now in the COVID. Some initial, initial <laughs> uh, investigations of fraud, you know, in government programs. I don't know if you know, it's like PPP, uh, the pay, uh, Paycheck Protection Program, and even the unemployment. I mean, they have fraud figures up to like 17%. One of them even shows 30%. So in other words, <clears throat> of the money they gave out, uh, uh, that percent, you know, whether it's sometimes it was 7% to 33% ha has been fraud. So they gave it to people who didn't deserve it under the law. And because their applications weren't good enough to detect if they were uh, deserving or not. So that's why, you know, when you're out there filling an application, you say, oh, this is a pain in the ass. Because if it wasn't, the people would be able to game the system more. I mean, $200 million is... Uh, 200 billion has been stolen, they think, by just two of the large programs. 200 billion, wow. I mean, that, that sounds like the, uh, uh, you, know, you know, the budget for uh, half a dozen government agencies, you know? So we're wasting that to people who shouldn't have it. So that's why the government has this. It's somebody else's money, it's your money, our money that they're giving out. So they have to be careful. You know, that people don't do. I remember you from the commercials back in the day. Yes, I was back in the day. Now I'm back, I'm back at this day. <laughs> and trying to still show people hi, hi, uh, about government programs that are out there for everybody. And not only for the gangsters, the gangsters learn how to use it. And the internet has made that so much easier. You see all the fraud. I mean, even in my work on the internet, man, there's so many people that pretend they're me and uh, even take my image so people know they're me. Now listen, if you see me out there promising you something, if they're charging more than $20, that's not me. <laughs> I'll give you the best information on government grants in the world you know, for only $20. And I always wanted to do that. And we're so successful at that, that we're making profit that we give back to members. So now, even though you pay $20, you can get up to $1,000 back. And, and uh, like every month now, like 100, I don't know, 30, 40 people uh, are getting money back, either $500 or $1,000. And we doing it, uh, you know, this is the second year now that we're doing it. And we're gonna keep doing it as long as we're making profit, we'll keep giving, giving the money back to people uh, because that's what we're here to help you uh, find out about government money out there. So one of the reasons for uh, giving you our grants is that to teach you that it's not that hard to get a grant. See, if it's hard, yes, some may be hard and you may be, uh, need some help, but don't hire anybody to help you. You go to the office that's giving out the money and tell them you need help. They're set up, it may take you a day or two to find the right person or whatever, that's okay, but that's better than spending you know, $5,000 on somebody. Like right now I see ads now are people that if you're a small business, they'll help you get like $26,000 grant from the IRS. Don't pay these people. They're gonna get four or $5,000 from you and you could do this for free. And actually you wanna know about that program, you call your, your small business development center, go to Americas, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, and then sbdc.org.org and they'll help you fill out the application for free. You don't need anybody, you know, to take five thousand dollars from you, you know, to do that. Uh, but you have to know your options, and you're not going to learn your options by going to Google to find out who, how to get help. Google just are showing you only options that want to get money. Google doesn't show you the options that are free because they're not paying Google to find you. <laughs> Google will find you. <laughs> Uh, if you pay them money to find you. So the people that Google will find better are the people they're getting money from. Makes sense, right? Uh, and, and even the, so the people that give out free money and, or give out free services, like the people fill out those applications for free, they don't have, they don't, yeah, they do it for free. They don't have money to give to Google. You know, so that's why, because they're giving you free services. So they get grants to do this for free and you won't find them in Google. Another thing I, I, 
I came, if you watched my videos in the last day or two, I think this is important. If you're on Medicaid, uh, so a lot more people, like 20 million more people are on Medicaid because of the COVID. And what they're doing now, and, and they didn't drop anybody from Medicaid in the last three years, but now the emergency will be over and they're going to just drop people based on <laughs> the data they have in their database. So that's why it's important that you update the database on Medicaid uh, uh, for you so you don't get dropped just by accident. They're going to be dropping. They, they imagine something like 20 million people are going to get dropped by accident. Now, that's terrible, you know, because you think you're covered for insurance and all of a sudden you're dropped, you know, and you don't even see the letter or what's going on. So that's going to be very difficult. Uh, what you want to find is a health care community navigator. Healthcare community navigator. They're the people that get grants to help you figure out uh, your health care, okay? So that's why, particularly if you're on Medicaid, because they're going to change that. They're going to drop people off without telling them. And you're going to be SOL with no health care coverage on your way to the hospital. <laughs> you don't want that to happen because you know that's going to be a big, goddamn big bill. And you don't want that to happen to you. You want to make sure you're covered or even, you know, now it's easier to get health care. Hi, by normal, uh, I mean, even go to uh, healthcare.gov. Uh, it, it's still, it's cheaper than ever. I mean, like I think what half the people are paying like $10 a month or less to get complete coverage. Man, that's nothing. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's a latte <laughs> in a big city. Yeah, you know? uh, so that, that's what's important to do. So sign up for there. And when you go to healthcare.gov, uh, look for community navigators. Okay, if you can't find them, then go to 211.org or findhelp.org and look for healthcare community navigators. Very important because there are going to be millions of people. They're going to be all of a sudden, they don't have insurance, they don't know why. And it's so complicated, you can't read the website and figure it out. I've been helping people do it. I couldn't do it. And talk to people. That's where you get the best information, talking to people, okay? They know. So these community navigators are the people that know about your health care. So that's why you want to find them, ask for uh, that help. Just like filling out grant forms. You want to go people like the Small Business Development Center, which is America's. Uh, that's an airplane out there. I'm right by National Airport. I'm down by the Washington Monument uh, or the Lincoln Memorial. Sorry, I'm, I, I haven't done a, a long walk like this in a month. I still have shingles that hurt, that hurt at night and, and in the back, but not as back. This is the first time I'm trying to do six miles. Yesterday I did about four and it wasn't so bad. I felt good doing it. And I thought I'd go back and crash and sleep for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I didn't. I did pretty well. But last night was a little rough sleeping. So it, it's still there. Uh, and it's been four weeks. So, eh, <laughs> I've had enough. But I'm trying to ignore it and just get on. I mean, it never stopped me more than half a day. You know, uh, and sleeping was terrible. So other than that, I... I just shoulder along and did my videos, answer questions. I want to answer your question. I am here uh, in life, I think, to take the knowledge I have for 50, 48 years now of government programs and share it with as many possible people as I can before I die, okay? So that's what I'm alive to do. If you can't afford me, uh, uh, you could get free help. I'll send you a report. A report of free help that's a little hard to do because well you could try uh let's go f uh free radio at gmail.com and just say you can't afford it uh and, and i'll sell, sell you a way to start getting this uh, help done for free okay uh, and i put together the best sources for you to start uh getting free help to get government grants and not spending any money at all so that's a report i i, I got and help you. Another thing we have is lesgofreehelp.com, and that's a place you can get uh, lots of free help. But if you if you have twenty dollars, I'll personally answer questions uh, at twenty dollars a month, and that's what most of my day is asking your, answering your questions. So I love doing that because that's how I learn what you really need. So I get out and show you uh, where those sources are to help you. Okay, guys. I'm going to go back and walk so I can 
finish and see if I finish. <laughs> I may have to call somebody <laughs> and pick me up or get an Uber to go to the rest of the way. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I will talk to you.